Welcome to the Creative Wandering Duo with Dave and Sandra Fisher. Well, hi everybody. It's Sandra from the Creative Wandering Duo. I'm back in my studio and uh, I got kind of a mess going. I'll show you what's been happening. I walked in today and I uh, saw that shelving unit right over there it was kind of becoming a leaning tower and it was full of stuff which I have all over the place now so I've put it back up and I've secured it to the wall so hopefully it's going to stay now but in the meantime I'm going to go through and some of the things that were on there are not going to be going back I've had them, never used it, and they gotta go. Either they are going to go to other quilters to use, or they're going to go into recycling somewhere. Um, maybe to a secondhand shop. Anyway, whatever. Um, Some of it might be up for sale, kind of whatever. But I was going to do a show, or do this video, not a show, a video, about what I had picked up at the Red Deer Quilt Show, and some of the interesting projects that I'm working on right now. But my leaning shelf unit it got prior attention <laughs> so yeah I've kind of got um, stacks over here that is stack full all of that hat was on that shelf I have stacks on the floor all over I've got a stack there so yeah my job right now is to organize and uh, try and get all these stacks uh, back in order but that's not much fun so I wanted to show you a few items that I had picked up at the quilt show because I mean sharing is fun and uh, some of these projects are, are just going to be too cute I'm trying to get into another box here so that I can show you some more stuff sorry out of camera there we go Okay, I got some charm packs. Now, I have made one of Kim Dale's quilts, um, and I uh, gave it away. I love her work. And this, this book is Simple Friendship 2 uh, by Kim Dale and Joe Morton. I have the Simple Friendship 1 by Kim Dale and Joe Morton. But I just, excuse me, I just really like her her work, her, her uh, patterns. And so there she uh, they do a good job of explaining them. So I want to make some more of her stuff. And I follow her on Instagram and love her stuff. But I don't know why. All of a sudden I've kind of got into the retro type, type fabrics. And so I picked up this charm pack. It's called Daffodils and Dragons. And 
It's by Moda, of course. And so it's kind of retro fabrics in there and colors. And this one's by Moda and it's called Hope's Journey. And there's some nice colors, but I think these would all go really nice in the, uh, making some of the patterns in those book. This one is by Mo um, Moda one again, and it's Adam's Town by Joe Morton. And again, it's that uh, old charm, um, the fabrics that have that old old school charm. Here's another. This one's called Songbird Gatherings. And again, it's those those colors. I don't know why. It's, I usually go for very bright. So, but with Kim Dale has influenced me. I think. So that was some of the uh, charm packs I picked up at the show. And uh, then I picked up this pattern. Um, easy to sew a crossbody bag by Emmeline Bags and it's called the Spring Sling. And I found this pleather or whatever they call it. It's metallic metallic mint blue green rec, uh, rex faux leather vinyl is what it is. So I'm going to use it. It's kind of a teal color and I kind of like teal. And then they had the uh, I think I got this from Purple Cats quilting out of uh, Alberta. Purple Cat Cal Purple Cats shop and I do believe they just do online now. They used to have a storefront but I think they do online. But they sell the, the hardware kits for the, the Emmeline bags. So you don't have to buy a whole bunch. This is ev all the hardware I need to make this bag. I like that. I don't have leftovers. So I want to make that. Yeah. They're online, emmelinebags.com. And there's installation tutorials on how to put these on, so that's nice. Yeah, hardware kit, spring sling. And that's what the one I'm making. Now, somewhere in this, I got buried, I think. Yep, there it is. I've been doing some hand work. Oops. I want to make myself a needle case. So I had these little guys kicking around and uh, they're the mini, mini uh, charms. And they're just two and a half inches by two and a half inches. And I've had them sitting here for a long time. Didn't know what to do with them. So I sat down because I want to make a, a needle pouch or a needle booklet. I'm not sure if I'll have it so that it rolls up or if I'll just open it like a book yet. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. So I'm hand stitching each of these on. Just long stitches. I know there's a name out there for that, but I'm not sure what it is. So anyway. That's what I'm doing. I've just got a little bit left to do. And no pattern. I'm just winging this. Working on that one. Then, I've been kind of following um, Sue Spargo. And years and years ago, my mom taught me how to do embroidery work. And... Uh, 
Mum was kind of very crafty that way. And so she taught me the basics on embroidery and I've done a lot of embroidery over the years. But I kind of like to get into some of the more fancier stitching. So I ordered Sue Spargo's because I've seen her her uh, anniversary special where she did 20 days of uh, tutorials on Instagram and uh, yeah a lot of fun so go back into Sue Spargo's Instagram and you'll see those tutorials but anyway I picked I got this book and I ordered it in from Amazon and it was here within a short order so I, I don't know that I'm going to get into wool work but I like the way she has things set up easy to follow instructions so I'm going to try some of that because I have a lot of embroidery threads And that's kind of where my world is right now. Oh, I got a new to me sewing machine. I've been looking for a different machine because my Janome um, is kind of old. I got it in the early 80s and it's been kind of giving me some issues. So. I've been kind of gentle. I mean, I've taught children how to sew on that. Just about every child that came through my house learned how to sew on that machine. It's done some pretty heavy sewing. I've done upholstery work. I've made denim jeans. I've done a lot of work with that machine. And a lot of quilts have went through it. And I mean the quilting of them too. I didn't have a long arm. I was quilting them on that little machine. So it's, it's done a workhorse. Just before we went down to the Red Deer show, I was on Facebook, on Facebook Marketplace. Marketplace? No, it wasn't on Marketplace. It was a group I belonged to. And this lady had advertised a uh, machine. She said she had too many machines and she was selling this uh, Husqvarna Viking Sapphire 875 quilt well it's the top in the top of the line of the sapphires and all the research I'd done they're a good machine so now I have to learn how to use it so in the process of all of this I have the manual printed out in a booklet somewhere and I don't know where it is I took it in the camper maybe it's still in the camper <laughs> I might have to go look but anyway here is my new to me machine. Isn't she a beauty? Don't know what she's going to get called yet. All computerized. So there's a bit of a learning curve and I've been playing as you can see I've got a whole pile of bits and pieces sewn together back there and uh, yeah I have to get busy and play some more so I'll probably be showing you a few things that I'm doing with that so yeah lots of fun and of course you bring one machine in you have to take one machine out and uh, so I sold one of my faffs to a friend and because uh, she just had a, a straight so it didn't even have reverse it was an old old singer and yeah didn't even have reverse and she's getting into quilting and um, so she was quite happy because she's sewn on that machine a few times and, uh, in, and so she's kind of familiar with it and if she has any issues or anything I'm right here so yeah it all works out anyway so that's what I've been up to lately 
Um, and uh, oh yeah, camping trips and we've got a very busy summer planned. So I'm going to try and do up a couple of quilting videos and put them out there. But anyway, just thought I would do a, a little brief update and uh, let you know what I've been up to. So remember, um, if you like watching these quilting shows, I do have them under, if you go onto our channel, they are listed under quilting, sewing, and other such handwork or whatever, something like that label. Those are all quilting related. Um, you go under DI, uh, the work wood shop, then you get what Dave's doing in the wood shop. We just have the one channel and uh, we started it to keep our family and friends updated as to what we were doing and we've just continued with it. So please subscribe, hit that subscribe button, it's free, it just helps us and you know give us a thumbs up. It helps with the algorithms of getting our, our videos out there and we appreciate it so much. And uh, I enjoy all your comments. I really have been missing um, comments from some of the people that were always commenting. I miss you. Come back. <laughs> it's good to see your comments. So anyway, take care. And uh, have a wonderful day. And remember to stay real. Bye for now.